this is JT Wisdom and my blog is Bubbling with Elegance and Grace and I am uh, doing a vlog. This is my first vlog. I did videos on like um, different hairstyles and stuff like that but this is actually my first vlog. And this is from uh, Katie Rose um, Friend Friday. I'm looking at my computer because um, the topic of discussion for this week is size and size is so important to so many different people particularly women because so much is focused on size and what you look like so the first question is should someone's size stop them from fashion blogging or having a voice in the community well, my question, my, my, the, that's the question, and my answer to that is, of course not. I mean, I don't care what size you are. That shouldn't have anything to do with whether or not you should be fashion blogging or not. Um, I think that if, if, you know, if you're a size 2 and you want a fashion blog, fashion blog. If you're a size 24 or whatever, if you want a fashion blog, fashion blog. You, um... You know, you all have a voice, and you have something to offer. So I think you should go for it. And I don't have a problem with that at all. The second question is, in your opinion, can the term curvy and plus-sized be used interchangeably when it comes to fashion? Well, I think curvy to me sounds better than plus-sized. Plus size, just, I don't know, it just, to me it's like, you know, there's differentiations as far as like saying misses, then there's like women's, or then there's a use women's as plus size, and I think you don't necessarily have to use plus size, I think that a better, a better term could have been, came up with that, I, to me I think curvy sounds better than plus size, because curvy, for example, um, I mean, you can be curvy and be a 2, and you can be curvy and be a size 18. So, to me, that I don't see why there has to be a differentiation when all there is is just a change in dress size. Uh, I think that you could still be classified as a missus and still have the different sizes as, um, you know, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, uh, you know, 1X, 2X, you can still be classified as a missus. But I prefer not to use the term plus size. I, I prefer to either say curvy or, uh, you know, fuller, fuller figured or something like that. Uh, the third question is, many people make the argument that catering to plus size women would promote being overweight as okay. What do you think? Should more designers be catering to plus-size women? Okay, so I'll answer the first part of that. Um, many people make the argument that catering to plus-size women would promote being overweight is okay. What do you think? Well, for one thing, I don't think that by catering to women who are above the size of a 12 or 14 would promote people being overweight. Because, uh, you know, I was talking to my husband about this. Just because you're a size 16 or 18 or whatever doesn't necessarily mean that you're overweight. For your body shape, for your bone structure, it does not necessarily mean that you're overweight. Um, you can be uh, very healthy at a size 12. You could be very healthy at a size 14. Uh, you could probably be, you might not be, you might be thin, but you might not be healthy. At a size two, so you can't you can't just put stereotypes on things like that by saying just because someone's a size ten or someone's a size twelve, which to me I do not think is a large size. But you know what's so sad about these days and times is that people actually think that being a size twelve is too big, and it's a shame. Because, you know, now you have these little girls up here who are looking at people in these magazines and stuff like that and thinking that they're supposed to be a size 2 and they're feeling depressed because they're not that small. And everybody has different shapes and different sizes. 
and that's the way God made us. And we can be very healthy at a size 8. You know, we can be very healthy at a size 20. It just depends on, it, it depends on your body shape. It depends on, uh, also, you know, it depends on, uh, you have women who are all different sizes. You have different women that, you know, that exercise. You have different women that, you know, they're, you know, it's not just, you know, by, you can be a, might be a larger size and it might not necessarily be to you being overweight due to food. It could be due to taking medication. It could be due to a lot of things. So to put things in a small box like that, it's just not right. The second part of that question is, should more designers be catering to plus size women? Well, of course. I mean, I was looking at, I think I was looking at PM Style, and I also think I had been, I read in a magazine that the average, the average size of the American woman is a size 14, a size 14. To me, I don't think a size 14 is a curvy, a curvy, fuller figured size. But to me, you know, nowadays you have, I, I, I even get catalogs sometimes that says that you really can't order, you can only order a size up to a size 12 or up to a size 14. Well, that rules out then a lot of the population. So, of course, I think that if you're making cute styles for, for twos and fours and eights, well, you should be making cute styles for all women, not just women that are smaller figured. It should be for all women. And, I, and, and to me, to not do that is, is just showing that designers aren't really thinking outside the box. And thinking outside the box means that you're thinking for various different sizes and shapes. The next question is... Should the mainstream fashion industry be showcasing more plus size model? Heck yeah, I really do think so. I don't see why they don't have more fuller size models, more curvy models. I don't see why they don't. I mean, I've seen, uh, you know, I've I've seen models where I've actually seen their bones when they're walking down the aisle. You can actually see when they're wearing swimsuits or when they're wearing certain dresses and things like that. You can actually see their bones through their skin. Is that attractive? To me, no. Um, do you necessarily have to... You, I, I know a lot of times I really think that uh, to see various different shapes, I think is good to see on the runway. Because all women are various different shapes. You do not have a lot of women who are wearing zeros, who are wearing twos, who are wearing fours. You have all different sizes and shapes. So to me, if you have all different sizes of shapes of women, then quite naturally you should be actually having those women on the runway. I know I'm seeing some women on the runway who are curvy or, you know, I mean, in these days and times, they're considering a 12 to be large. Um... And you're seeing more more women uh, down, you know, walking down the runway. Not that many, not as many, but you're oh, you are seeing more. But it would be great to even see more of that because then it would show that uh, we're not just catering to a certain a certain size. We're catering to everyone, and I think to do that, that would to me seems uh, to have it being equal opportunity for everyone to see that, you know, if someone is a size 16 or 18 and then they can see that person walking down the runway, they can say, yeah, I can wear that. I can wear that. I can wear all, I can wear that too, because all women should be represented and, uh, it should be done more so. Uh, 